Hi everyone, it's Megan here at Best Bib and Tucker with another crafty video for you. And today I have a wrapping project. Um, and my favorite part of this is it uses scraps of ribbon. Um, you know I love to use every last little bit of thing, so this is a fun project. Um, basically we're using those ribbon scraps to make a scrappy little bow for your packages. Um, this is a no measuring project. You're not gonna rule her out. Um, but basically you're looking for pieces of ribbon that are six to eight inches long, somewhere in that range. This one's eight, um, this one's six to kind of give you an idea of what they look like. Um, but any type of ribbon will work. I did find, I was playing with our ribbon stash at home, the wired pieces um, that kind of hold their shape a little bit better helps. Um, so that would be good to have on the bottom um, just to kind of hold the shape of the bow a little bit. Um, but like on this one, I even had some really pretty yarn because in my craft world, the yarn stash is right next to the ribbon stash. So, you know, I see that and you, oh, let's see what yarn looks like in here. And that worked well too. Um, you just wouldn't want a lot of it because it's not going to hold its shape. It needs the other ribbons in there to help it out. Um, and then I was like, hmm, let's look at the ribbon stash. Let's look at the yarn stash. Oh, let's look at the, faps, or the scrap fabric stash. Scrap fabric did not work as well. Um, like the t-shirt fabrics and thin fabrics I had was just a little too flimsy to make these bows out. It needs a little bit of structure. But I did have some denim. Um, so I tried one out of that. And it is a little floppier. Um, but it works. And it makes kind of a cute little bow um, there. And then I just used a little piece of t-shirt to tie it in the center. But on a package, um, it would hold its shape enough to be kind of a cute bow. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. Um, like I said, scraps of fabric, when you're trimming your packages, just leave them off in a pile. Um, you need to decide if you want to trim your ends when you before you start or when you're done. Um, it doesn't matter what order you do them in. Um, you can either make it like the tail end or here like the pointy end of an arrow or even just slip them on a diagonal. Either way, you cut them, it'll work. I haven't cut many of these yet, some I have. Um, I'll get them at the end later. So you're gonna start with two pieces and you're going to lay them like a cross. Simple enough. Um, like I said, I started with the wired, little bit heavier duty fabric. Um, and then you're going to alternate. So this one is on top. I'm going to put the next piece in the opposite direction. Um, and what's neat about this is you do not need to have two pieces that match. I'm going to grab my next piece here and lay it. The green and the gold, they coordinate, but they're not the exact same piece. Um, the other thing to remember on this is that so long as you go in opposite directions, you'll be fine. And you kind of want to start with your widest ribbon and work your way thinner. Um, so these are about the same width. We're just kind of on there. It works. Um, so like I said, you need at least eight. These samples over here have eight pieces of ribbon on it. I had a few more scraps cut, so I'm just going to go for it. I think there's 11 um, in this pack that I did. And it may start curling up on you and not laying flat. That's when you need, you know an extra hand or two in there and then for the last part you need a slightly longer piece of ribbon um i think like 12 18 inches double the length of one of these um, and you're going to use that to tie everybody together and also tie it onto your package so i'm going to find the center of that piece and lay it in the center of my cross you can see that and then i'm going to pinch everybody with my thumb and my index finger and i'm going to flip them over so we got the flip down, and then as I'm holding it, if you have a little extra hands at home, they can hold on to these for you and help you um, do this part of it. But from there, I'm just going to grab it and pull it tight, and then double knot it to hold. And don't worry about how they move and shift. You're going to be able to tug on them and pull them um, into shape later. All right, so I'm going to pinch that, and then I'm going to flip it over to get our final little bow. How fun is that? Scrappy, it's cute. Um, 
just a little mix match. And then remember, this is the time where you need to go through and trim all of your edges. So like this little guy over here looks a little big. I'm going on a diagonal because frankly diagonals are the easiest. Um, but it can be a mix too, you know, it doesn't have to just be um, all the same. Let's see, here's another little guy that needs trimmed. Anybody else? Oh. There's always one, right? Let's see. And then here's one. Cute. Okay, and then to attach it to my package, got our scraps out of the way here. I just wrapped the box, crisscrossed my ribbon around. Um, this one is taped on the inside of the box, but really, just do your normal ribbon wrapping. And then, grab your bow. That's where that excess ribbon comes in. I'm gonna pull it underneath. I'm gonna shove this one around the other way. Really, we're not gonna see any of this red. Just wanna get it attached in there. And I'm going to pull it up and tie it around because I like the red and it coordinates with what I have in my bow. So I'm going to end up just incorporating that into the scrappy part. So another knot, one and two. And then I'm going to trim those up as well. But you could do this where you just slide that knot around to the back as well if you didn't want your tying ribbon to be part of your book. But there you are, fun, scrappy, use up those extra ribbons project. Lovely. Thanks so much for watching. Happy wrapping and we'll see you soon. Bye.